Hi everybody, I'm Jessie and I am so excited to do this project with you. Today we're going to make some really cool marble apple decorations for your fall displays. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our construction paper and we're going to cut out our shapes first. So using white, this is what we are going to use to create the body of our apple. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half, just like that. And then using my scissors, I'm going to cut out an apple shape. Now here's the best part about apples, they come in a hundred different shapes and sizes. So no matter what you cut out, it's not wrong. It is 100% an apple. So I'm gonna start with the top part of my apple and there's always a little bit of a dip. That's where the stem connects. So I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna give it a nice big top part and it's almost like cutting a heart, but instead of a point, I'm gonna round it off at the bottom. And then I'm gonna create a little bit of a dip right there. And that creates the bottom of your apple. Check out that apple body. Pretty cool, huh? Next, we're gonna create the stem. So using brown paper, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out a stem shape. All right, it's starting to look like an apple, huh? Next, we're gonna add in a leaf. Looking pretty good, but there's no such thing as white apples. We need to paint our apple. And so go ahead and grab whatever color paints you want. I myself am gonna make an orange and red apple because some of my favorite apples are Fuji's and Braeburn's and they've got a little bit of an orange tint to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my stem and leaf off to the side while I get my tray and paint prepped. You're gonna need a tray to actually do your painting in. And that's what you can put your apple piece in. And if it doesn't fit 100%, that's okay. Next, I'm gonna prep my paint. So using a second tray, I'm just gonna put two big dollops of paint in. Now comes the fun part, the marbles. So I'm just gonna grab a handful of marbles and toss them into my paint. I'm gonna put a few in the red and a few in the orange, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I need to coat them up. You can use your hands, you can tip. And it's okay if your colors intermingle because when we go to put them on our apple, it's gonna mix together and it's gonna create this really cool marble effect. All right, once your marbles are covered, go ahead, pick them up and toss them right onto your apple. Set your paint tray off to the side. Now comes the fun part. Tip your tray and use those marbles to create a marbleized effect on your paper. Look at them go. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna re-put some more paint on my marbles. All right, once you have your apple painted, Let's go ahead and remove those marbles. All right, your paint's gonna wanna dry for a couple hours before you add on your stem and your leaf. But let me just go ahead and show you guys what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my stem down. I'm gonna tape it to the back of my project. I'm gonna add a little bit of tape to my leaf. And there you have it. One really cool marbleized, marble painted apple.
So I hope you guys had fun and I can't wait to see the amazing apples you guys create. So send me some photos, I'd love to see them. So until next time guys, bye.